So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Architect Jeanette Rosalino. I am here to present my proposed postmodern university, Ecumenical Chapel. So, design objectives. First is facilitate efficient circulation for various Christian groups of the university. Second, create a conducive ambience for worship environment. Third, postmodern serves as a landmark. My concept is hand. Hand is one of the most complex and beautiful pieces of natural engineering in the human body. Design brief. The designer acquire inspiration of fingers to cooperate to its building. See in this side, um, gikuan ako ng inspiration sa fingers and gi apply na ko siya sa exterior sa kong building. So this is the left side elevation of my building. The color scheme is more on neutral colors to achieve the sanctuary schemes. So these are my chosen palettes here. Um, I choose na ko ni siya para ma-achieve na ko sa interior ang conducive ambience nga needed sa akong chapel. The designer used stained glass to attain the art painting with light and also to achieve the appearance of postmodern in exterior. And next is my design consideration. Simplicity, flexibility, and intimacy. For simplicity and flexibility, I make the interior less detailed so that dili may divert ang attention sa mga worshippers and wala na ko gipangbutngan of saints since ang chapel is intended for various Christian group. And this can fall to our second consideration which is flexible siya sa tanan. For intimacy, wala na ko gipataas ang ceiling height but gi-elevate na ko ang chapel na part since the function sa atong chapel is mag-talk to God and one way na ma-achieve na is make the chapel closer to the sky. For interior design, using stained glass is really wise way to give beauty inside in the chapel. Kaya aside sa mag light from the outside, it is also important symbol to many religious. It also provides certain level of privacy, but as you can see, wala na kong gilokop tanan o butang o stained glass. Kay gusto na ko, sa west part site, ma-achieve na ko ang inside and outside relationship kay nakasurround man siya o trees, which can give o relaxation sa ato ang building while ga-worship ka. Using indirect light can distribute soft lights at ang sanctuary, especially at night. For the chancel part, since simplicity is one of my design consideration and to know the function of this building, I put cross to the center to the channel area above the head. So while the lecture, they would feel the connection. I use dark tones to the furniture which I get from my color scheme. Also, I make interior symmetrical since most of the religious building is like that. Unsay makita nimo each side of the building envelope is the same. But once makita nimo ako ang exterior design, you would see na asymmetrical siya because one of the element of postmodern architecture is asymmetrical and it is a huge block na murag nag-hold sa building like ato kung gi-explain sa ako ang transformation. And you would realize na they are not relating to each other. Okay, ang postmodern architecture is more on bold colors and exaggeration building. But you could see the beauty while looking at it. That is why it has a great contrast sa inside and outside relationship. Same job sa ako ang chancel na part. Ako ang adapt sa outside or front interior elevation. I put cross so that mas ma-identify dyan nila ang purpose and function of the building. Same goes to my color scheme. In my exterior elevation, I choose Japan the sanctuary scheme and para mag-blanches the whole site since more on earthy tone siya. 
Your sanctuary is not only blessed with beautiful pieces of art, but also na achieve nato ang conducive environment which is really needed aning apart sa ato ang building. And lastly, this is my section part. Cross section through A to A, longitudinal section through B to B. For conclusion, my proposed design is not only aiming for beauty and function, but also to satisfy the client's needs and wants. That's all for today. I am designer Kyla Blanche Igo, and this is my presentation proposed postmodern university ecumenical chapel.